Moscow, September 24, 2025. In a significant boost to Russia's aviation sector, the United Engine Corporation UEC, AV Avigato has confirmed plans to commence serial production of its advanced PD-35 and PD-26 turbofan engines by 2027. This announcement, building on recent high-level endorsements from President Vladimir Putin and Deputy Prime Minister Denis Mancharov, signals Moscow's determination to achieve technological sovereignty in high-thrust aero engines, reducing reliance on foreign suppliers amid ongoing geopolitical tensions. The PD-35, Russia's flagship high-bypass turbofan, is engineered for wide-body long-haul aircraft with a thrust rating of up to 35 metric tons, approximately 77,000 lbf. Developed under a federal program launched in 2016 with an investment exceeding 180 billion rubles, about $1.9 billion, the engine incorporates cutting-edge technologies such as wide-cord composite fan blades over 3 meters in diameter, ceramic matrix composites for high-temperature tolerance up to 1,450 degrees Celsius, and a 23 to 1 compressor pressure ratio. These features aim to rival Western counterparts like the GE9X or Rolls-Royce Trent XWB in fuel efficiency, emissions reduction, and durability. Recent milestones underscore the project's momentum. In April 2025, UEC completed bench tests on the PD-35 core engine, validating its gas generator performance. Just last week, on September 20th, AV Avigato initiated the second phase of ground testing for the full demonstrator at the OS-5 Open Air Facility in Novi Laity, near Perm. These tests are pivotal, simulating real-world conditions to ensure reliability, said Alexander Inozentsev, Deputy General Director of ODKV Advigato, in a statement to TASS. The engine's unified gas generator design also serves as the foundation for derivatives, enabling cost-effective scaling. Complementing the PD-35 is the newly unveiled PD-26, a 26-ton thrust variant optimized for next-generation transport and passenger aircraft. Revealed in late August 2025, the PD-26 leverages the PD-35's core architecture, adapting it for military civil dual-use applications. First Deputy Prime Minister Mancharov highlighted its versatility during an Eastern Economic Forum interview, noting its potential to power a proposed family of wide-body twin jets and heavy airlifters. The PD-26 will equip future high-capacity transports, bridging the gap between current PS-90 engines and tomorrow's needs, Mancharov told TASS. President Putin's direct intervention has injected urgency into the timeline. In June 2025, he affirmed at a public administration forum that plans to create the PD-35 will be implemented, emphasizing its role in powering domestic wide bodies like a successor to the IL-96 or the ill-fated crack SAR 929, a Russia-China joint venture stalled by sanctions. More recently, Putin urged prompt development and serial production of the PD-26, aligning with Russia's broader import substitution drive. This comes as the Russian Aerospace Forces seek to modernize its fleet of 26 and 124 Condor airlifters, each capable of 120-ton payloads, with a new IL-100 design potentially featuring four PD-20 SIXS for balanced thrust. The 2027 serial production target marks a recovery from earlier setbacks. Sanctions following the 2022 Ukraine conflict delayed the PD-35 to at least 2029 for 2022 reports, but accelerated domestic R&D, bolstered by over 64 billion rubles in 2018 contracts, has compressed the schedule. Experts estimate mass output could begin in PERM's AV Advigato facilities by late 2027, with initial runs of 10 to 15 units annually, scaling to 25 by 2030. This aligns with UEC's ramp-up for related engines. PD-14 production hits 10 units in 2025, rising to 25 by 2027 for the MC-21 narrow-body jet, whose first PD-14 batch was delivered in February. Strategic implications extend beyond civilian aviation. The PD-20 SIXS dual-use potential could enhance military transports, addressing battlefield demands in ongoing conflicts. 
Analysts at the Eurasian Times note it as a powerhouse for strategic airlifters, potentially outpacing Ukraine's D-18T engines in efficiency. Internationally, Russia eyes exports. The PD-35 was pitched as an alternative for China's Comac C929, though ties have cooled. At Airshow China 2024, UEC showcased PD-35 models, drawing interest from Asian partners wary of U.S. restrictions on engines like the F-135 for the F-35. Challenges persist. Funding remains a hurdle, total PD, 35 costs could exceed 200 billion rubles, while material innovations, like silicon carbide composites for fan blades, demand rigorous validation. Competitors like Pratt & Whitney's $255 million Oklahoma facility for F-135 production highlight the global race. Yet, Russian officials project a 15-20% to 20 fuel savings over legacy PS90s, positioning these engines as eco-friendly assets in a net-zero aviation push. As testing advances, industry watchers anticipate certification flights by 2026 on an IL-76 testbed. By 2027, serial lines could hum with PD-35s and PD-20SIXS, heralding a new era for Russian skies. This isn't just engines, it's independence, Mancharov quipped. With Putin's backing, Russia's aeroengine renaissance appears firmly on track. As UEC prepares for 2026 flight tests, the PD-35 and PD-26 stand as testaments to Russia's engineering resilience. Certification by mid-2027 will pave the way for integration into new airframes, with the IL-100 and a potential IL-96 successor as early adopters. Geopolitically, these engines could shift aviation alliances, offering sanction-proof alternatives to developing nations. This is Russia's moment to redefine aerospace, Mancharov told R.I. Novosti. With testing on track and Putin's backing, 2027 could mark a turning point for Russian aviation.